Yeah, uh, good evening, my distinguished uh, gentlemen and ladies. This is me, your friend. To them, that takes me as their friend, Reverend Gwaju. As a pity, I switched off my phone last night. And this morning, I prepared and went somewhere very early. I came back late. And uh, I came back and I was very busy. So I was attending to those things. And I now came to the platform and I saw what was happening. I became surprised. I saw a lot of things happening. For that reason, I did not want to listen to that VN of uh, the, the person that called himself Bishop Angbara. Me, I, me, I called myself Reverend Guajuku. If it's God that uh, called me, I know. So anything that someone say we should call him, I will call. That is my own. I didn't listen to that VN, but when I listened to Reverend Bartlome, I said, ah, no, let me go and listen to this thing, so if I know exactly what happened. I deleted that voice note from all my platforms. So I now have to search it from another platform and uh, I listened to it just now you know. I finished listening to it before I'm giving this uh, I started giving this uh, voice note now uh, 21 minutes now is 21 minutes after 7 p.m. and today is 18th day of June 2024 when I listened to Bishop Angbara I was very surprised at him I didn't know if Bishop Angbara understood that the whole grand project group led by Abdul, the German machine, and led by uh, Abdul, the German machine, that I am one of the executive. Although nobody knows about that, but I know the position they give me. Bishop Angbara, you can ask Livingstone, ask a uh, uh, German machine. Every time in the meeting, what they normally tell me, the position they give to me as their father. And I strongly believe that you don't know that I am among them and other, other matured men among them. And you have the God to lay cause on them because you said you are directing it to the deformed or grand pressure group led by abdul and the executive i don't want to tell my people to just forget about it because you are not talking to us you are not talking to us because we are not deformed you are talking to the deformed deformed you created them, you deformed them. So you are not talking to us because we are not deformed. We are still our Grand Pressure Group, the active one, now, the tomorrow. So you are talking to the one you have, you have uh, uh, dissolved. Didn't know whether you say deformed or dissolved. So you are talking to the one you have dissolved, which I know. Nobody has any right to dissolve the present or grand pressure group that is led by Abdul Razak, the German machine. Nobody has the right. Nobody, unless the federal government. So you have no right. You're taking your position, taking position where you do not, where you do not uh, position, where position do not belong to you. You're taking it. Well, uh, I don't want to, I say I will not respond, but because of the causes you lay, that is why I'm responding to you. I would, res I would have responded privately, but uh, you know what happened. I decided to keep myself and you keep yourself. The only God that would judge between I and you, our past. You didn't consult me before you do such thing. So no need of consulting you. I know you are just trying to learn how to 
Lagos on on anyone you reach in the grand community because you can say other oh, people are laying cause so that so you should learn you want to learn your own but mind you mind you i don't lay courses i only pass judgment and when i want to say it i will say god ask me to do it and you know the bible says who unto him that god say that said god said but god didn't say if truly your cause is from God, come out and now repeat it. Say God told you to curse Abdurazak and his all grand pressure group executive. Come out and say it. If truly you know that is God, as you are trying to learn how to curse, come out and say it. So I see it as a jamboree. You are making a mistake. You are cursing the people that have been dissolved. People that are, you said have been dissolved. I'm just surprised at you. Bishop Angbara, sorry that I'm replying this. I decided not to reply. So I do not look as if ministers are, look at what ministers are doing uh, on air. But because of that cause, I, don't, I can't bear it again because you also, you didn't know that you also talked to me as an executive. Yes, you also talked to me. But let me tell you, what you do is you have to come by yourself because you know I'm there. You see? You have to come by yourself before three days and apologize if you res if you refuse grand community let me tell you if he refuse you people shouldn't pity him because you people will not know what he had done to himself what he had done to himself to himself oh he did it to himself if your eyes is being opened you will see what he had done to himself can't you listen to his judgment that when Kingsley is there. Is he trying to tell me that when Kingsley was there, that the whole thing was zoned to the geopolitical zone? Can Bishop Angbara understand that when Kingsley was there, Kingsley was the president from the East. Livingstone was the vice president, was the, the secretary from the East. Adazayan was the treasurer from the East. Did he know? Did he know? These are the major offices in that organ pressure group. Others are executive. But let me tell you, they are not major. But all of us are executive. But it was occupied by the Hebrews, the East. And Bishop Angbara, you didn't see anything bad there. You didn't see anything bad. Even in even in in um, in uh, 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 politics, do you appoint like that? So, Angbara, that has just shown that you don't even understand what you are saying, that you are putting trouble to yourself. Let me not pronounce this thing to yourself. I'm telling you, Bishop Angbara, let me even ask you. Tell the masses truth. What did our grand pressure group led by Abdul did to you that warrant this? Or don't you know that costless cost will not come? Go and watch mine. When I want to pass a judgment, it was on the people that offended me. Please come on air and tell us what Abdul and his members did to you. Please tell us. They didn't do anything. They didn't call your name. The people I accused, I was talking about Aposken and they came up to accuse why I, did, I was not talking to them. And the judgment of God was passed on them. There's no two ways about that. Judgment was passed on them. And I'm telling you, you people should understand just that you people don't know what God is doing. If God wants to punish anybody, he doesn't care. God can God can kill you today and raise another person and replace your position. That is God. If you misbehave, you people should be aware and stop putting yourself in trouble for the judgment has been established. Unless anybody repent and God might have mercy. Mr. You have you have done a lot of evil to yourself. I'm telling you. Tell me what that young man did to you. Now tell me. If they are having any quarrel or anything, it's between them. Okay, so, and they are to, are to is it between you? Please, did you subscribe in their hand? Do you ever remember that this is the the the, the grant, the palliative they sourced? Is this one that of uh, uh, Apostle Ken UAG? Mr. what did you 
Bishop Gwara, I want to tell you the truth of a truth. I don't know if you all had uh, some little shot. I don't know. I please, I am pleading with you. Come up before three days to come and apologize. But if you fail, oh, now you sabi. No consign me. Oh, I've just said my own because you are the one that warrant this insult. You warranted it. You warranted it. I'm telling you. You warranted it. So let me tell you. Your course will not even work on them because they did you nothing. But you don't know that you have thrown a ball, a ball, bouncing ball on the wall. The thing returned to who that thrown it. Throw it. Kai is a pity. Huh? Oh, oh, Kai. Oh, please, my beloved. You say you normally call me your beloved reverend. I am begging you, just come and apologize. You made a mistake. You made a mistake. Grand community, let me tell also. You both should not blame Bishop Angbara so much because he has caused that into himself. He's supposed to you blame because he has come to fight for Apostle Ken. Like one person, if I use this language now, they will have used it. That Apostle Ken used to insult me the way he likes lied against me even in that lie he keep on saying that he's saying the truth this person has never been in my community before he don't know my kinsman i don't know how he can come out in the public or in the court and give witness of knowing how my family is if not somebody that told him and how can person summarize that what somebody told you you it is true and the same person is in gang community knowing fully well that all the deceit we have been facing it was somebody that told us he still had the god, god to say that he is saying the truth oh god no it will be looked into it will be looked into this was how i was going deceived him now he's confessing my pain is that even in the confession he still claimed that he's saying the truth saying the truth how i am i i came from the poorest family Saying the truth that my church is only 17 people. Saying the truth that uh, uh, I, I have never made money in my life. The 500,000 Naira I've never, uh, 500,000 I've never made before. I only made it uh, in Grand Community. He's still saying the truth. This person did not ask himself if he's the one that gave me money I use in buying a land and build a church is a pity the same apostle can deceived him to say all these things against me now he's confessing that his apostle can that deceived him grand community that is how bishop angbara will still come and tell us that it was apostle ken that told him one day will come you will see it one day one day will come you will see it that is the way everybody from his camp behaves. He cannot even tell them the truth. Well, will I blame them? It has happened to me. It has happened to me. My own is that I didn't cause anybody because that person is um, is against um, uh, what I am doing. No. I only placed it. Even I didn't cause. I only placed the judgment. You see? So, uh, 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 Bishop Angbara has created a lot of things see? because he was trying to save Apostle Ken. Apostle Ken that mobilizes, mobilizes uh, 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 people against us. And somebody is speaking, saying you are a bishop, you are a Christian. You people know that Apostle Ken knows Joyce Lovely, but he told me he don't know Joyce Lovely. Do you people know that Apostle Ken has spoken with Joyce Lovely on phone before? You people know. But tell him, he say he doesn't know them. Ah, it's a pity. Grand community, let me tell you when it will start. Of the whole mess, Josh Lovely did. Apostle must provide Josh Lovely. The evidence is there, I know. I know what I'm saying. When time comes. So this is in Apostle Ken hand work. They are speaking for him. Tell him now, he will say he's not the one that tell Bishop Angbara. But because of the evil that has happened, I will still be accusing him. 
person that have such type of mind and you people are even clapping that you want to disburse to you you will be finished telling you be finished no be better please oh for peace sake oh because i wasn't i'm involved you called you called as long as you said and he's an executive cancel so better come out before three days oh to come and apologize even if you don't want to apologize to anybody for my sake because i'm there yes you don't know him donna is not an excuse in the law so please come and apologize so come and apologize so <clears throat> i'm begging you don't say i did not tell you so grand community please i want you to disregard those causes it's a costless cause it's a costless cause if you begin to do it you will not know that you are adding to the one he has cost to himself so just just calm down leave it if god wish that we have money we'll have it nobody nobody will hinder it nobody will hinder it believe me well thank you so much for having listened to my words god bless you all but before i conclude abdul and all his uh, executive which i belong nothing will happen to us people should not be afraid you know no side day grace differs god has given me the grace god has given me the grace i am there no will confirm that again so that will prosper no matter what you see and i thank god for for reverend batlomi i don't even want to talk about the person that was calling me say say he's causing himself. anybody that calls me is causing himself i know what i'm saying because i didn't even know them i didn't talk to them i didn't call their name they're in trouble you push don't even know what is happening as long as the anointing i carry the grace i carry if i didn't insult you and they insult me please he said dundee you are in trouble say dundee you are in trouble so i thank uh for responding on time before i could come i thank him so much and I saw Grand Prayer Group. All of you are blessed. Whosoever cost you will be cost. Whosoever bless you will be blessed because I am there. No, we performed against all that will prosper. Thank you and God bless you.